Hey, welcome back to Mind Pump TV. You're about to see a clip of Dr. Rand answering questions revolving around hormones and testosterone and health. If you wanna see if you're a candidate for this, whether you're male or female, head over to mphormones.com, fill out their questionnaire, see if hormone therapy is right for you. All right, enjoy this video. Hi, this is Dr. Rand McLean. I'm a doctor of regenerative and sports medicine. I've been asked to talk to you about some of the growth hormone releasing secretagogues. Right now, and the, and the landscape is changing, so by the time this comes to you, it may have changed already, but right now we have certain peptides and one peptidomimetic, which is a fancy way of saying like peptide, available to help your body produce more of its own growth hormone. Um, one of my favorites is something called ibutamorin, also known as MK677, which is a, one of the peptidomimetics. It's actually the only one we have available the beauty of ibutamorin is that it helps the body produce more of its own growth hormone to those levels that we were likely producing when we were in our 20s. And all of these uh, GH secretagogues typically do that. But ibutamorin works by elevating something called ghrelin. It's a different mechanism than some of the others that will act like growth hormone releasing hormones or combinations that act through both mechanisms, but the beauty of ibutamorin, I think, is that not only does it work as well as the others, but it is something you can take orally. It's not something that you have to mix, then refrigerate, and then nightly inject. It's something you can leave by your bedside, and when you remember, after turning off the television, oh, I have to do my GH secretagogue, you can leave it there, and by the way, not have to explain to anybody what it is, because it looks like just a regular supplement, and with a glass of water, take your pill right before falling asleep, and get the same benefit as some of the other injectable peptides. The other beauty is because it's a peptidomimetic, it's not gonna be damaged by overheating, uh, the denaturing effect of heat on any protein or peptide that breaks apart the bonds and makes it useless. It's easy to carry that, therefore, so you can travel with it more easily. And of course, you can always use a combination and say, well, my favorite is another uh, growth hormone releasing hormone analog, such as somorlin or testimorlin, um, you can leave that one at home uh, and, and travel with ibutamorin. So ibutamorin, I would argue, is my favorite. They all, by the way, are similarly priced, at least uh, in the pharmacies that I've seen. Uh, and uh, some of the others are epimorlin, which is similar in sound, but is a peptide that must be mixed and refrigerated and then injected nightly. These injections, by the way, are all subcutaneous injections, meaning just underneath the skin, typically into a little patch of fat, if anyone has any by their abdomen or really anywhere on the body. Um, and epimorlin works uh, similarly in that it uh, raises GH levels endogenously, but without one of the side effects I didn't mention about ibutamorin. And some people, by working through the ghrelin pathway, which epimorlin does also, uh, you can have side effects of hunger. It's actually the same pathway for those of you that are uh, marijuana smokers or eaters or whatever. Uh, that gives people the munchies, that same feeling of hunger. So one of the things that's required in all uh, the usage of any of these, um, these uh, peptides or peptidomimetics that work through the ghrelin pathway is take them right before bed. Not, okay, I'm gonna take these and see what's on television before I fall asleep half hour hence, because in about 30 minutes, you're gonna wake up and sort of defeat the purpose of taking a growth hormone secretagogue because you're gonna hit the kitchen and it's gonna look like a bomb went off in there because you're gonna you're gonna eat like you have the munchies. Uh, if you take it right before bed, you'll uh, sleep through any hunger and uh, not defeat the purpose of, 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 of the GA secretagogues. We have others that are called uh, CJC-1295, for example, which work through different mechanisms. I mentioned somorlin. These are, and testimorlin, these are those peptides that work through uh, the original mechanism, if you will, the growth hormone releasing hormone mechanism. Uh, and then you can use combinations of CJC-1295 and epimorlin, for example, that work through both pathways and presumably get you know, double benefit. In my experience, uh, I'm not gonna say those are fluff to combine them, but uh, typically one mechanism or the other is, is just as good as a combination. But everyone's a little different and some people may work better with one mechanism of action versus the other or a combination. So that's uh, GH secretagogues in a nutshell. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanna see if you're a candidate, don't forget you can head over to mphormones.com 
answer some questions and see if hormone replacement therapy is right for you.